There is something 1,000 times more important than posture when it comes to your musculoskeletal health. And I say this because in my practice, I have a lot of patients that blame a lot of things on their posture. I have neck pain, shoulder pain, back pain, whatever it is, and it's because I have poor posture. But for your joint protection, for your musculoskeletal health, what is so much more important is your mind-body awareness, how your brain and your nervous system do micro movements to the small, deep movements of your body. And what I wanna talk about in this video is your kind of your shoulder complex, your scapular movements here, because a lot of people do things for the shoulder. And I've, I've just recently made a video on how to strengthen the rotator cuff. And that's the ball and socket joint in here. But for more dynamic movement, we want to really work this here and engage a lot of the muscles that pull our shoulder back. And this will help overall improve your posture, but in addition to the improved posture, you're gonna end up having better movement. Your, your brain's gonna communicate with these muscles better. So let's take a look at some examples here. And that's where I move my shoulder blade back because a lot of people live in this forward posture here and they just, they don't, their brain doesn't connect to moving it back. So if you hold on to something here and just fall this way, notice how when I fall this way here, my spine rounds. Now, if I pull my shoulder back without bending my elbow, because a lot of people, they wanna initiate movement with their elbow. I don't want you to initiate the movement with the elbow when you practice this, initiate it with the shoulder. And watch how when I do this, when I initiate it with the shoulder, I bring my shoulder back, it automatically helps to get my spine more upright. So this alone, and I'm gonna show you some more ideas, but this alone is great for some people. Let me bring my shoulder down and back. Notice it's not here. So some people might have a tendency to do this. I want down and back where my shoulder kind of goes down and then it falls back. Slow, coordinated movements. This exercise isn't the kind of exercise that you do and you're trying to burn it out. Let me feel the burn. This is more of a slow controlled micro movements. Let me get my brain used to using these muscles that it doesn't use that much. Now to put it into practice with some exercises, let's talk about what are some exercises that I could do that would enhance that. One is called a power pull and I'm just showing this first because I'm here and it's kind of like a single arm row. And when I lean back like this, you'll notice my, my uh, shoulder falls forward. I wanna initiate the movement here because when I do this, when I show people this, sometimes there's this, this tendency to kind of do this here. And they leave that shoulder forward, but you want to initiate the movement with it going back and then pulling. So I want to initiate here and then row. And that's going to get those fine tuning, deep muscles of that whole scapular complex or your wing bone complex. And so another example is just a bent over row. Same thing, sometimes I see a lot of people that are kind of in here and they want to do a row like this, but we want to work with that, bringing the shoulder blade back, setting it in place. And then you could be here. Now, here's a couple of options. Now, some people will work for a more full dynamic range with everyone. So they let it come forward, pull back and then pull here. Sometimes, and this is okay too, it's just another way to do it. You do more strength training, keep it back, and then just pull back from here. So it really depends what your goal is. If you're trying to do these more intricate full range movements, let it pull and then do that there. If you're doing more hypertrophy, I'm trying to build muscle, do that row there. So there are some tips for the retraction of your scapula. Keep in mind there's lots of movements of the scapula, elevation, depression, protraction in different rotations but this here is your retraction to get that so hopefully you got something out of this video if you did give us this thumbs up leave us a comment below encourage us to make more of these